episode 13 and we are preparing for war. Uh, we held a tribunal in the last episode and we were trying to get the Kornans to sort of see that their leader Varesh was evil and tainted and bad and that she was going to try and destroy the whole world basically. Uh, but she wouldn't, uh, but the Kornans wouldn't listen so uh, all out war has come. Kormir's return. She, uh, she's brought heroes from other continents and uh, she's come back so basically Jarek stepped down from being in charge and we're gonna see what her plans are basically she just stormed in and said look uh, if it comes to war then it comes to war we will fight you so uh, it's really escalated a bit okay so where is Cormier? I know she's out here in the plains oh she's over there okay uh, I'll cut it till we get over there that's right near Canada okay so we've known for a while now that Cormier knows a lot more than she's sort of been telling us uh, and this is the first of three quests to prepare us for war and she's come back and she's gonna tell us everything she knows and she's gonna talk really really quickly so uh, you have to bear with me guys if I can't keep up with her alright so let's do it she says Matt you have done well in my absence tell me what you know of Nightfall and Abaddon they're gonna be some big revelations coming out now we've uncovered a connection between the Corsairs and General Kayette she is a worshipper of a deity named Abaddon that's all we know. She says, Indeed, I have learned much in my travels and can tell you more. Once there were not five gods, but six. The sixth was Abaddon, imprisoned in it by his siblings in the realm of torment. Stories say that one day Abaddon will break free of the confines of his cell and release terror upon the land in an event known only as Nightfall. And we say Ankayat worships this monster? Cormir says she does, as does Varesh. Unless we stop her, she will bolster the power of her dark god and eventually unleash fury upon the world. Time is of the essence. We must attack Varesh's fortress at Gandhara. Capture her and bring her to justice. Otherwise, and we reply, you lead, we shall follow. You do not fight alone. Damn, there's no way you can possibly read that out. So yeah, a bit of an overload of information there. So that's what Abaddon is. She specifically said it now. It's a fallen god, a sixth god. So uh, all the way through these videos, you guys will remember... Um, well, some of you guys have been saying to me, oh, there's six gods, why do you keep saying there's five? In all your descriptions, it says there's only five. Guild Wars 2 wiki says that there's six, blah, 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 blah. Um, Nightfall is the story of the sixth god. So, Cormir says, It's good to see you are here, Matt. We must strike quickly and with overwhelming force. The Cornan troops are no match for even the dullest Sunspear recruit. With the element of surprise, we can topple them in one fell swoop and end the treacherous reign of Varesh Ossa. I have no doubt we will win this upcoming war, but before we launch our attack, our troops must be battle ready. Speak to Narashi and help her train the new recruits. Okay, so Narashi's here, these are lot, lots of new recruits. I suppose these are some of the people that uh, Kormir found from the other lands. These recruits were handpicked from the Istan's best. Oh no, they're from Istan. So these recruits were handpicked from Istan's best. Some are old members of the Shore Watch, having bloodied their swords defending the villages from Corsair raids. Others are fresh off the farm. We must motivate them before sending them into battle. Teach them to wield their scythes for reaping not grain, but pain. We report of a group of scale that have entered the plains of Jaren. Your job is to lead the recruits to the south and kill the scale to give them a taste of battle. Report to Atok when you are done. Okay, new recruits, come with me. The fruit of my labour will be evident on the battlefield. My training will guide me to victory. Oh, Lone Eyes here as well. Do you have everything you need? Are you sure? Corn and patrols are worse in foul weather. Are you absolutely certain? Okay, uh, so where are these scale? Not too far. I'll speed it up. Okay, I see the scale. They're just up ahead here. So, uh, with all this stuff that Cormier's just told us about Abaddon, uh, you know, it really does uh, reveal a lot more about the plot, but then it's also kind of raised a lot more questions. If there were six gods, uh, when we've always been led to believe that there's only five, then, you know, there's a lot of consistency errors there. Why is it that we never knew about this, uh, this supposed sixth god? And so, there's a lot still to be answered. Um, but definitely we are kind of, I mean now you can get a real sense of what Nightfall is all about. Uh, especially just from the namesake of the game. Alright, so that's the uh, the scale down. So now we just got to report to Atok. Who's back up near the Camadan place. So yeah, uh, so most of this story is about um, this Nightfall, about Abaddon and uh, trying to stop Varesh Ossa. Okay Atok, they're all trained. We showed them how to uh, kick the asses of many scale. 
He says, charging into battle used to bother me. You never know when you'll get hit by an arrow or, God forbid, some siege weaponry. Nice job on training those recruits. Do you like big weapons? Rogis has me arming these boats with enormous catapults like the ones at Chabek Village. Things are going to get a lot bloodier around these parts. I can't wait. See if Rogis needs your help with anything. Okay, Rogis, hello again. Oh, hi there, Matt. I specialise in developing cutting-edge sun spear weaponry. Ha, get it? <laughs> Uh, um, just wait and see. I've got a few promising projects in the work. Sure you do. Okay, so I hope the Cormier can secure more support boats. We have enough troops to get there, but not enough for a return trip if anything catastrophic happens. Best not to think of the worst, but Cormier has a tendency to overreach. Right now, my mind is on other matters, like figuring out a way to increase the range on our catapults. Report to Puba for more orders. Ooh, okay, so... Uh, we're going to be having big siege battles and stuff. I actually really, uh, really like the mission where we go to war. It's, it's pretty great. So, uh, Pooper says, nice work with recruits. Continue honing your leadership skills and your enemies won't stand a chance on the battlefield. Preparations are almost ready. The assault begins soon. So now we can grab the second quest. Uh, there's two more, if you remember. We've got Wind and Water and Ghost Reconnaissance. We'll do Wind and Water first. We need to stir the winds before our journey. Captain Boulder has hired a bunch of local sailors, but before they embark, they must perform a ritual on the winds to Duena, the goddess of light and air. Otherwise, the passage to Corner will be a slow and difficult one, if nigh impossible. He is waiting for you in the Kodlanu Hamlet. Return with blessings, or don't return at all. If it is wind you need, it is wind I will bring. <laughs> you want to wake the wind, that's just crazy talk. Okay, so, uh, of course, a lot of all these preparations, I mean, we're on an island, we've got to travel this huge expanse of, expanse of water to get to Corner. And if you look here, this is uh, the giant city they've been talking about, Gandara, the moon fortress. And if Varesh is anywhere, she'll be here, so this is probably where, where we're going to be attacking. So, yeah, that's a lot of sea we need to be travelling across. Let's go back to the hamlet. See, now I'm not entirely sure whether these rituals we're about to do, are, you know, are actually important or whether it's just a Stanley superstition, superstition, sorry, or what, I'm not 100% sure. He says, the sea is a harsh mistress, only the Stanley and the Corsairs dare sail her at this time of year. Treat the sea right and you'll make it to shore, whether your ship lands with you is another matter. Oh yeah, because remember, last time we were here I spoke to one of the shore watchers and he was like, oh, a big storm's brewing. So he says the winds are weak this time of year, so we'll need divine assistance if we're to cross the channel in time. We must seek Dwayna's intervention to summon the winds and currents to spirit us to the port of Gandara. So there you go, we are going to Gandara. My sailors are already preparing for the ceremony in the Mitanni Keys. They will need your protection to complete the ritual. So some real magic does happen here. Let's go back out into the Keys. And uh, start taking in the sights, guys, because um, some of these places we'll never be returning to again. Uh, we're getting ready to kiss goodbye to the land of Istan. And we've been here quite a few episodes actually, but I, I really like it. It's not like um, in the other series where you stay in a single region for ages. Uh, you know, they, I, I really quite like how long we spend in Istan at the start here. So the Mitanni Keys. And uh, yeah, I don't believe we'll ever be coming back to this awesome place. So uh, I think the, the quest all takes a place around here, so we should probably... Um, uh, finish off the scale first. Okay, so here's the sailors doing their ritual. Uh, how can we help, guys? Oh, okay, so they, uh, lots of water gin. These are a new kind of enemy. We've never seen these before. Uh, we'll learn a lot about them as we go through Nightfall. I love the gin. They are pretty cool. <laughs> we completely destroyed them, though. So the Jinn are going to continue attacking, and I believe, I read on Wiki, uh, you know we're, we're praying to Dwayna here? On top of this statue here, this little pillar thing, is a broken statue to Dwayna up on the top. I'm not quite sure how to get a view of it though. Yeah, there you go, see, these are these are the ruins of a, a statue of Dwayna, which I don't think many people, uh, you know, will probably notice. It's quite hard to see up there. But yeah, this one's just a bit of a bland quest, just defend the sailors, really, from these Jinn. We could have met another Jin actually. Um, we never went back to Farina. Uh, I will be going there on one of the bonus episodes when we finish this first chapter when we go to war. Uh, oh my god, lots of people died. Cory died. Oh, and the Warthog died. Oh, is that the quest over? 
Yeah, cool. yeah. as I was saying, um, but if we do go back to Fariner, you'll see that there's a gin right where the Apocrypha was. Which is really cool, actually. I, I quite like it. It's the only other djinn you can really see around here. So the djinn are talking to us. Look how cool they look. She, or he, uh, I guess that's a she. She says, we are the storm, we are the calm. We are the wind. May the tides carry you safely, and may the winds fill your sails. The blessings of the wind and water are yours. Hmm, so that's pretty cool. So we got a djinn to tell us we had the blessings. Whether that actually did bless us, like I say, I mean... It's up to interpretation, really, isn't it? But you know, we're in a we're in a world full of magic, so I don't see why it couldn't work that way. Boulder walks with Dwayne. His love of the seas is wide and deep. I only hope that Cormier can negotiate for additional landing craft, or all will be for naught. And the final preparation quest: Ghost Reconnaissance, and this is the the best one in my opinion. He says we don't have the numbers of our enemies, therefore we must compensate in other ways. Duncoro and Cormir proposed we seek the help of the original Sunspear Guard that served Elona in the days of the Primeval Dynasty. They are in the Tomb of the Three Worthies in the Tender Bog. Hopefully, time has been kind to their restless spirits. Can we count on you? <laughs> I must be going somewhere this goes be. It must be done, let's do it. So, if you guys remember, we actually went to the original, the ruins of the original Sunspears. Uh, Great Hall, uh, when we were going to find Kayette, that is exactly where we killed Kayette. So it's, it's pretty cool, let's go south. Now this is where we go into back into the bog, uh, but as the explorable area, and it's swarming with insects, it's horrible. Right, so we're going quite deep into the bog here. Yeah, look at this, mandragores, pop-ups everywhere. Hey, level 15. Cool. Uh, what should I put up? Scythe and Beast. So, it looks like we're almost here. I keep forgetting to speak to the Sunspear Scouts. What rank are we now? We are... Oh, we're a Sunspear Captain. That's pretty cool. And the next rank is Sunspear Commander at a thousand points. So that next one's ages away. Okay, so we're over here. More of these stone-faced ruins here. Um, and this is where we're going to invoke the, the, the ghosts. Let's go forward. And our quest log says, Kneel at the Sunspear Crypt to summon the original Sunspear Guard. Which is pretty cool. There's not many quests in this game where you actually have to use emotes. Uh, I always like it when, the, when you come across one or two. So here we go. We kneel down. And we found a lot of first spear. Well, no, one first spear. So, what, what are they saying? Through war, we achieve peace. Now is your time to shine, Sunspear. Fight! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You may arm yourself like a Sunspear, but can you fight like one? Yeah, I'm, you're damn straight. I can fight like one. <laughs> I completely forgot these guys fight you. So you can see one of those guys there is called Sologon the Protector. He's the man we heard about a long time ago. Uh, that was described back up here at the Sunspear Great Hall outpost. Um, one of the oldest standing structures on the Istani Isles, the Sunspear Great Hall, dates back to the time of Sologon the Protector, who turned the Sunspears into an independent order devoted to the protection of all of Ilona. So that's who that guy is, and there's actually a henchman in this game who's named after, he's called Sologon, he's a paragon, and he's named after Sologon the Protector. So who's this guy? Kodjalin the Con Consulator. Time has changed much in these lands, but once again, Elona is on the brink of civil war. May you return in one piece, not trapped in a box, and spending eternity in an old crypt. And First Spear Janna says, Sunspear Sun ranks have flooded like the banks of the Great Elon, but you will need that and more to face the rising tide of evil ready to engulf the world. Death is not the darkest thing you face. Beware the secrets in the shadow. Secrets, so we're gonna start hearing about secrets and stuff quite a lot as well. And a bit of another theme, really, in this game. Cormir may be the greatest spear marshal ever, but I would have loved to have challenged her while my body was full with light. Ah, well, let our voices be your armor against this darkness. We have foreseen the day your spear marshal would call upon us for aid. Know this, kind and noble emissary. 
When it is time to storm Gandara, you and your brethren will not be alone. In every battle cry, in every fated step, we will be your armour when iron buckles and your spear when steel fails. But first, you must prove your worthiness. Must prove our worthiness. What are we proving? Is that the quest complete? Okay, yeah, it is. He said we have to improve our worthiness. I don't remember that. I think we've proved we're worthy, don't you? We've done a hell of a lot. I am uneasy in the presence of spirits, but the thought of charging headlong into Varesh's blade has given me pause. The Sunspears began as the Sunspear Guard under Queen Najedj. With their aid, we cannot fail. Now this queen he talked about here, actually, funnily, is uh, one of the people buried in the tomb of the primeval kings. So he says, we have the aid of the wind and water, the blessings of the original Sunspear Guard, a fresh batch of newly minted Sunspears, and the assistance of heroes from across the sea. Cormir is mustering forces at the Churia Fields. Once you reach the rank of Sunspear Captain, or gain su sufficient experience, level 17, help her rally the troops. Indeed, the time for action is nigh. So we're getting very close to it now, guys. Uh, we, we are already a Sunspear Captain, aren't we? Yes, we are. Cool. So, didn't really have to worry about that at all. Let's go meet Cormir. Also, I just realised my mic was like, right round the back of my head somehow. I don't even know how that happened. Uh, but... So if my uh, commentary's been really quiet, I'm sorry about that. So we're coming back out here into the fields. Remember, this is the uh, training encampment. Um, and Cormier gives us quite a cool little uh, motivational speech. You know, uh, in this game, something happens at the end of this game that makes a lot of people feel quite cheated by Cormier. Uh, I'm not going to say any further than that. But uh, I think that's quite misguided. They, they tend to think Cormier is really useless the whole way through the plot and that she doesn't really do anything. And that's because there's a lot of points in the plot where she kind of disappears. And people don't realise that she's actually really working and doing a hell of a lot of stuff as far as the story's concerned. So as we're going to go through, I'm going to really try and make sure you guys understand that, you know, Cormier doesn't just stand around doing nothing. You can already see how much she's done. So here she is giving a motivational speech. She says, We are standing at the precipice on the brink of war. It is a conflict we must start, and it is a war we will finish. Oh, look, one of the Crash Corsair ships from all that time ago. We are the light that will shatter the coming darkness. In the darkness of combat, with the demons of war surrounding you, remember our creed. A Sunspear never fights alone. And then everyone roars, yeah, roar, yeah. So, uh, that's her speech. And this is it, guys. We'll say goodbye to Istan. The Sunspears will not stand idle while Vereshosa harms Elona. The time is nigh. Matt Greenspring, I must say this is the greatest collection of heroes I have ever seen. Today, we make history. Please return to Camadan and arrange an audience with Elder Saul. Everything must be made ready for the assault. Speak with his assistant to set up the meeting. I shall be there presently. So, here we go. Uh, we're coming very close. I didn't think we would actually... Uh do it so quickly but we've actually this is going to be the last episode of the first chapter of the game this is according to the wiki this is actually all of this stuff that you've seen so far in what is this episode 13 and all these 13 episodes supposedly this has just been the prologue of the game so I'll stick with what wiki says oh sorry are we speaking to clerk Arlon uh, no 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 we're going to see Elder Saul and um, this is supposedly just the prologue of the game so uh, the next chapter is really where it all begins because this the, the next chapter is sort of where the uh, you know Tom and Peter will kind of join the plot as well, theoretically anyway. So here's the assistant out in the consulate. This is where uh, we had the tribunal. Elder Sol is a very busy man. Without me, none of these scrolls would ever get processed. I can't believe how much gets written here every day, but it keeps me busy. Despite his concerns, Elder Sol has been preparing diligently since Cormir left. I trust that you're doing all you can to tip the odds in our favor. For that, we are thankful. The Sunspears have rallied for battle. We must inform Elder Sol of our intentions. Very well, prepare yourselves. Elder Saul does not want Elona plunged into a civil war. So this is the Consulate Docks, this is the next mission. Which we will see at the start of the next chapter. Here's a map for... Cormier, why have you gathered your sun spears? Varish has denied your charges and banned your followers from Corner. I feared as much. 
As of this moment, Varish, Asa, and her supporters are enemies of Alona and of the Sun Spears. Varish is warned and ready for us now. We must sail for Gandhara and confront her before it's too late. Istani ships would be of great help. You would plunge Alona into civil war. We have not yet exhausted diplomatic channels. With respect, Elder, we know what we have seen with our own eyes. Varish is a danger. It is our duty as Sunspears to defend Alona. My Sunspears will perform their duties with or without your aid, Elder. Will the Astani fleet support us or not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we shall. And may the five gods preserve us all. So, there we go. Nice little map on that table there. So that kind of explains why it's uh, kind of, um, you know, the Cornans versus the Sun Spears. The Sun Spears really are protectors of all of the nations, but Cornans have completely banned Sun Spears from being anywhere near there now. So they have declared the Sun Spears enemies of their nation. Um, so that's why it's kind of Sun Spears versus Corner here. And yes, this is the next mission. This is the Consulate Docks. These docks, located behind the imposing Consulate building at the northern end of Camadan, are used solely for official government business. They can only be accessed through the consulate, and then only with written approval. Elders travelling to the Elonian mainland, as well as ambassadors from Corner and Vabi, depart from here, bypassing the chaos of the common docks, which are used for trade vessels and tourists. Um, there's a lot to talk about here. Uh, who are we getting our reward from? Raid Marshal Mendora. Uh, lots of quests. And this is where I'm going to end the chapter. So, we have ships and we have men. We have the will and the means. Nothing can stop Cormir when she puts her mind to it. She would fight Balthazar himself if she thought the cause to be right and virtuous. Something tells me she is looking ju just for that kind of altercation with Varesh. Take this, you'll need it. You can see our party window is 8. We can get armour, we can get all kinds of stuff here now. The seas will be awash with war before long, mark my words. And the high time if you ask me. Let's take this battle to them who ask for it. Our squad is ready to board. Let's get on the ships and go to corner. Good luck. Make sure your squad is prepared. You'll be landing in the middle of the action. When you're ready, I'll get you loaded into the proper assault post. Godspeed, Sun Spears. We are ready. Okay, so the next chapter will start with our assault on Gandhara, the Moon Fortress, which should be pretty good. But just before we start the new chapter, I'm going to do a few bonus episodes uh, for some, for those of you who want to see sort of some extra story and, and that uh, that we skipped over on Istan, and I'm also going to be showing you guys the quests where uh, Tom and Peter how they get to Elona. So I will see you for that next time. See you later.